Go for it. Whoop, whoop. <whistles> when the snowman brings the snow. I am filming, and I think so far everyone's just had a great view of your buttocks. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> what have we got? We've got a fantastic sea view, complete with um, sea mist, so you can't actually even see the sea. <laughs> and then this looks it's so unappetising on camera. Does it? <laughs> yeah. Um, but this is leftover Christmas lunch from a couple of days ago, yeah. And we've literally just put the turkey and the stuffing in a brioche roll and we're about to pour gravy over it to create a gravy, turkey and stuffing sandwich. Along with pigs and blankets on the side and a cup of tea. I cannot illustrate enough through video just how great it is today. It is. What? It's a wonderful day, isn't it? Like... It brought us to this lovely place <laughs> where... You can see all the way to the coast. I thought, like, this is, this, every Christmas the weather is just dire in Isn't England. <laughs> you think you've just got to change the camera set because it's beautiful. <laughs> I just got to put on a slightly different filter on the camera. Yeah, if you've um, got, like, the sun setting on there. Shall we just talk about the star of the show, and that's my outfit, and just show everyone what I'm wearing today and where I got it from? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so I've got um, beanie from Marquette. Yeah. Then I've got a brown jumper yeah. from Nothing Written. And then to really go with the sort of cosy bear look, I've got a sheepskin gilo, which is also reversible from oh. Nothing Written. So you definitely, so you completely copied you. Yes, I copied you. Um, Belt is Margaret Howe. Jeans are also nothing written. So this is actually a full nothing written look. Where are your booties from? Uh, Blundstones. I've had these now for, I don't know, a while. And look how like, new they still look. Like for once, I actually want something to look a bit more scuffed and worn in. But they're just, it's not happening. They still look so new. Mm. Oh my God, why do I look like an actual tired turd um hello it is the 29th of december um it is 3 p.m and i have done absolutely nothing with my day in fact i haven't done anything with my days since maybe boxing day or the day after boxing day um i just do not have the energy for it i don't have the motivation for it i have just literally sat on the sofa consuming lots of chocolate reading books um and just looking like this no makeup and just i look like a spaniel i've let my hair dry naturally literally every time i've washed it recently um just to kind of give it a break from heat um i hope everyone had a great christmas um ours was fairly relaxed or well as relaxed as it can be when you have a two-year-old and a four-year-old literally latched onto you for two days straight um we went to dean's family he has a niece and a nephew who are adorable but wow the the amount of energy that kids have and then you, if you combine christmas with that it is just it is it's a lot um but in terms of kind of like the structure of our christmas super chilled out there wasn't a big christmas dinner or anything like that it was very much like just kind of nibbling on bits throughout the day um just chilling out watching tv um yeah it was it was really nice and since then, like I said, have not done anything. I think I've spoken about this before, how I really dislike the bit between Christmas and New Year um, because I feel like I can't... It, it, it fills me with a lot of anxiety, basically. It's kind of like that feeling that you get... I don't know if anyone else got this at school. It's, you know, there's the final days of like the summer holidays that, and you're kind of getting prepped to go back to school. That used to fill me with so much anxiety and dread. I absolutely hated it. That's the feeling I get in this weird kind of zone. Um, I know for most people that you probably won't get this feeling because a lot of people with kind of more structured jobs that require them to work five days a week went back to work. 
straight after Christmas. Um, but because of the way I work um, and the types of people that I kind of speak with on emails and stuff like that, they're not even in the office. So if I wanted to do some work, you know, like reach out to some people, I wouldn't even hear back from anyone anyway. Um, so, yeah, um, I, I struggle in this middle bit. I'm trying my best to just take it for what it is and literally just spend my days being just horizontal on the couch. It doesn't help that we, I haven't seen a blue sky for about a week either. So, I mean, it's literally just poured it down with rain for days on end, um, which doesn't give me much motivation to do anything. But I do feel like I need to at least leave the house and exceed a 500 step count because I'm not even joking. I think yesterday's step count was 700, which that's not too bad actually. Today's step count so far is um 120 and it's 3 p.m do we think it will reach 500 maybe if i keep it in my pocket for the day it might it might do um but yeah i'm just trying to embrace that but i'm finding it difficult to embrace that because um if i'm not reading which kind of takes my mind off things then i am um, getting all anxious about the start of the year Ooh. anyway um i hope everyone else had a good christmas i think i've already said that um we are actually going to go out this evening um so i will actually get to do some walking um we're going to go to the pub this evening for dinner with our friends some friends of ours who got covid before christmas who we were supposed to have sort of like a friend with celebration with are now finally covid free um, and out of their isolation so we're going to go see them which would be nice because they are aside from family I've not seen any of my friends for weeks which feels really weird but I just think everyone just started to hibernate quite early on because no one wanted to get Covid pre-Christmas did they um, so it'd be nice to actually finally see some see some faces um, uh, I will do a book update when I look a little less like this when I feel like I actually want to sit and subject you to a slightly nicer looking face um what else could i ramble on about what else could i f waste your time talking about um I, I literally can't think of anything else what was the last thing i even vlogged it probably was the camper van thing wasn't it um the next thing i think i might vlog is new year's eve because we're going out um i don't even know what that was yeah we're going out uh, last year obviously didn't go out because we were in lockdown um this year one of our favorite restaurants is doing a um like a full six course meal with drinks and then afterwards there's dancing and all sorts and it's going to be really nice because it is limited to like i think 70 or 80 people and it's in this big like um you know those like stretch tent things that people use outdoors for events um so it'll be a really nice like number of people I know lots of people going we're going with our friends it's just gonna be lovely you get to dress up as well and yeah just kind of come together with um lots of friends uh to kind of I guess celebrate or commiserate the end of 2021 um and you know cheers to hopefully what will be a slightly better 2022 anyway i'm gonna go because i've got some real I've, I've got some roses that need eating i don't know if you can see in the background um and yeah i can hear them calling out to me so at this point in the vlog i hope you're all doing well and i will see you all um in a couple of days i'm now about to head out and test out my christmas present new running trainers which is always fun new running trainers or any sort of new running gear always makes going for a run quite fun um i didn't got me these for christmas i've finally made the transition from asics to a new brand um i've been running in asics trainers for so long and i haven't really had a problem with them to be honest but i have had a lot of people recommend hocker and on to me in the past few months so i thought do you know what i'm going to give a new brand a try I don't particularly like the way on running trainers look. I, I'm not into that sort of like uh, design of the the sole. Um, whereas these I really, really like. They're not too dissimilar actually to the Asics that I was running in and they kind of just look like a normal trainer. They're super light. I haven't actually used them yet, hence why I'm touching the bottom of them. Um, these are the Bondi, Bondi 7 it says on the tab here. So yeah, 
I'm going to go out, test them, and I'll let you know how they are when I um, return. I'm at the flat at the moment. Um, it's New Year's Day. No, it's not. It's New Year's Eve. New Year's Day. Oh, dear. Um, I'm at the flat this afternoon because I'm actually using the space to shoot some content in. Now that it's empty and I've got this huge clean space, um, I thought, actually, I'll use it to take some photos. And I'm also just getting it prepped. There's a few bits that I need to still pack and get everything prepped, ready for the deep clean that I need to do in the new year before I hand the keys over. Anyway, I'm going to show you my outfit today because I really like my outfit and I was kind of reflecting, well not reflecting, but I was looking back on the last couple of vlogs and I realised that the sort of balance between lifestyle and fashion hasn't been that great. I've been showing a lot of what I've been doing but not a lot of what I've been wearing. And I kind of want there to be like a nice 50-50 balance between the two, because I know there's a big chunk of you that like to see what I am wearing. Um, and I've not been very good at showing that recently. So I'm gonna make a more conscious effort to have a good balance of those two things going forward. Um, so today's outfit, I mean, it's super relaxed, but I just, I feel really good in this, so I wanna share it. So from top to bottom, I am wearing a navy turtleneck from a brand called Navy Grey. This I've had for about two years now, I think, and it's probably one of my favorite turtlenecks. And let me tell you why this is one of my favorite turtlenecks. Really small detail. Technically, I guess it's a funnel neck and not a turtleneck. Um, but most funnel necks I find are a little bit saggy and I don't like that. I like them to be quite tight around the neck and this is super tight. It stays upright and the neckline is um, ribbed, which I think is a very nice flattering detail. Um, all round, a really good quality wool turtleneck. Highly recommend. Jeans are the jeans that you have seen many, many times before from Studio Nicholson. They are the Ruth jeans in the sort of dark indigo colour. Margaret Howe belt, which you've all seen many, many times before. And then on my feet, I'm wearing uh, Clark's Wallabies in the black suede. I've got these in the beige suede. They are absolutely beautiful, but they're proving a little bit difficult to wear at this time of year. I have put a suede protector on them, but I'm still a bit skeptical as to whether it will fully protect them in the rain. And I'm just so conscious about getting stains on them as well, because they just show up so easily because the, the suede, that like it's such a light beige colour. Um, they're also quite difficult to wear with darker denim. I have noticed when I've worn them with these jeans, at the end of the day, there's a slight um, sort of blue stain appearing at the tops, like on the the top rim of the shoes, um, which isn't great. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it out. I will try. So yeah, the black pair are, are great because obviously I can't see any stains that are transferred onto them. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm almost ready for this evening's dinner and dancing. Um, I originally had planned to put on a much fancier dress and have my hair in like a nice low bun. But when I got it all on, I just didn't feel comfortable. And because we're having a six course meal, I think being comfortable is more important than feeling fancy. So I think I've managed to put together a look that is comfortable and fancy at the same time. Um, so I'm wearing a tank top from a brand called uh, Refine Mood. I don't know if it's just Refine or Refine Mood. Their Instagram is Refine Mood. Really simple, um, tight fitting, strappy tank. And then a tulle skirt from Ray with an elasticated waist, which is key for this evening. And then I've got tights on, which does, it looks a bit witchy, doesn't it? But um, because where we're having dinner, it's in a kind of marquee thing outside. Although there will be heaters, it could be a little bit cold and I didn't really want to put a jumper on. So I thought tights might solve the problem. I might take them off if I get a bit too hot. I'm not sure. From afar, you can't really tell I've got tights on. It doesn't look too weird from afar. I think it's just when I do that, it looks a bit witch-like. And then on my feet, I've got my uh, Oxford heeled tabbies. And then I just put a coat on and handbag. I've kept my hair really natural. I just um, let it dry naturally and then straightened the top just to smooth it out. I might put on... I'm gonna put some rings on and then maybe switch out my earrings to something a little bit bolder and put just a little bit of um, kind of lip stain on and then that'll be me done. Is that the 
good angle. Yes, that's all right. Um, so quite a lot of time has passed since um, New Year's Eve. I think it's been about two weeks. Um, so I'm just going to use the viewfinder to sort my hair out a little bit. Um, yeah, I think it's like the 11th now, maybe the 12th. Um, I was going to sit down actually and kind of end this video with a sort of chat about what it's been like to live alone during 2021 and the things I've learned along my sort of YouTube journey in 2021 as well. But I think I'm going to save it for the next vlog because I'd like to kind of be able to sit down without worrying about time constraints. Um, so I feel like if I just put that in the start of next week's vlog, then that'll be a bit better. Um, and also because the the thing I'm going to share next, I think is actually a bit more exciting than me just sat rambling to you all. Um, so as you can see, I'm here, I'm here in the house. Um, the flat is no more. I gave the keys back, I think about a week ago now. Um, so yeah, you will never ever see the flat again. I'm so, so sorry, especially for all of the people that were like, we're gonna miss the flat so much. Um, I must admit that did worry me a bit. I was like, oh, what if people don't watch anymore because I'm not in the flat anymore. Um, it is sad that I'm not in that beautiful space, but um, change is good. And I feel like this, this is all meant to be and it's all leading up to some great thing for Dean and I in 2022. Anyway, um, yeah, so since New Year, like New Year's Day, it's just been all systems go, like getting everything, all the last bits that were there, all like the big bits of furniture over, um, and then putting stuff into storage. We've been living surrounded by mountains of boxes for about a week. We've started to finally kind of see the light through all of the boxes. Um, but today we're doing something really fun. So those of you who might remember, like, when I lived here, our kitchen, which I will show you in a moment, has a concrete floor. It's not a polished concrete floor. Sorry if you can hear that. It's not a polished concrete floor because that was, when we were doing this renovation, that was like not in our budget at all. It is extremely, extremely expensive to have a polished concrete floor, floor done properly. So we thought, let's try and create a similar effect ourselves. Um, and we did manage to do it, um, but it hasn't lasted very long. Uh, I say very long, we've had this house for four years. So, I mean, it's done quite well, um, but it's really looking a bit worse for wear now. So we are changing it. Um, and I'll, I'll take it downstairs and I'll show you. So this is the kitchen floor in its current state. I think first glance it really doesn't look too bad, but when you start to look a lot closer, there's a lot of patches of the floor that have come up and this is a continued issue and has been for like, well, the four years that we've been here. And we put resin over it every time, but it just continues to crack and then lift, which means that we're not really able to hoover this floor and it's just not very practical, is it? No, um, it, looks a bit, it just looks a bit tired now. It does, it just looks like it needs a refresh. It was great when we first did it and it was a great money saver because we literally just poured... We poured cement, cement. like neat cement and water straight on top of the concrete. And then we put like a sort of satin, a kind of like a satin resin. It wasn't glossy, was it? It was like, no. had a little bit of a shine. So it just sort of sat like an eggshell on top. Yeah, of and it sounds like an eggshell when you're walking on it. Like you can hear it crack as you walk. Yeah. Um, and no amount of like sealing it will stop it from doing that. Um, but hey, it was much better than paying, what, seven grand to have 9, a- 9,000. 9,000, oh. Oh, just a humble 9,000 just to have these. <laughs> um, so we are using a new product from the brand Detail, which some of you might remember is, they used to be called Cave, and it's the same company that we did the wall with, um, but they've now formulated a floor version, haven't they? Yes. Um, and we, oh, you're not going to be able to see it. The colour we've picked is, oh, have you got a little sample of it? Uh, um, no, no but I can It's called Pale Beach. So it's like a sort of slightly more warm toned grey. So the idea is that the floor will have a warmer tone to it and it will be less, um, kind of less... Textured. Le less textured. It will look more like the wall than this very sort of patchy, multicoloured 
I think it will actually look flatter than the wall. Oh, I think it's yeah. going to look nice and flat. I hope so, because like I think... concrete. Yeah. Because I like this, but I feel like there's a, there's a lot going on. There's so many different patches of different colour. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. It's going to take about three days in total. Yeah. Um, so kitchen's out of bounds for the rest of the week, which is going to be fun. We're going to have to make little bridges to get around. Yeah, because of the way the house is laid out, if we can't access the kitchen, we can't actually access the entire upstairs. Or the toilet. Or the toilet or the fridge. So um, we're going to have to create some little bridges to get in and out of the toilet and the fridge. And then obviously it dries. Mmm. It obviously dries slightly warmer. Slightly more warmer tone than that. I think it will just make this space look a little more refined, should yeah. we say. sun is sitting on that side of the house um, but when the clocks change um, the sun will kind of come straight into this room in the mornings and I think it will be a really nice warm tone um, but yeah the floor is done I don't even know if you're gonna be able to pick up on anything because it just kind of looks like a blanket of white at the moment but it looks much nicer hello hello are you now going yeah, I just got some more things to load up and de ice the tab. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, it feels much nicer in here now. Um, the floor that we had beforehand was really dark and actually didn't realise how dark it was until we, we started to lay this. And I was like, wow, this makes the room feel so different. It feels bigger, it feels brighter. Coming down the stairs in the morning is such a pleasant experience. It's so lovely to come into this space. I cannot wait for summer to arrive when the sun will just light it all up and I think it will be beautiful in here. Um, I feel like I need to dress it a bit more. At the moment we've just kind of put the bare bones of the furniture back in. Um, we've got some prints that are coming back from the framers so we're going to have a rejig of this eventually when those come back. Um, I want to just have a play around with this side of the wall as well. I just want to kind of refresh this whole um, space and we're also going to change our dining room table. Um, more will be revealed soon. We're actually going to make a dining table, which will be very fun. Um, but yeah, for the time being, I think this first change has made a huge, huge difference. And I just love, I love how it feels in here. It sounds, it sounds bizarre to say this, but it feels a lot quieter in here now. It's almost like, because this, the floor feels so much more solid, it almost feels like it's um, kind of soundproof the room a little bit, because although it might sound a bit echoey as I'm talking, as I walk along the floor now, I don't hear my footsteps um, as much as I did on the old floor. Plus the old floor just cracked and you could hear it cracking as you walked along it. But this floor feels um, so much more solid. So yes, that is the floor. I'll just kind of walk around and see if you can kind of show you a bit of the texture. Um, it's definitely flatter than our previous floor. It, you can obviously see like marks from where it's applied, which is intentional, that, that's the idea. Um, but it's all pretty much one colour. The bits where it's kind of dark, that's just from where um, there were high points on the floor um, and they've just come through a little bit. I don't mind that, but if you wanted to have a completely flat floor and avoid that kind of thing, you just have to make sure that you sanded it really really smooth before applying it but yeah um a fairly actually really easy process the only thing that kind of makes it long is that there's quite big drying times in between each step so it took a good three days for it to be completed and then dried and ready for things to be put back in here
another OOTD as I endeavour to show more clothes in my vlogs. So starting from head and then going down all the way to toes. Um, I think I'm on like day four of uh, not washing my hair, which is a real personal achievement for me. Um, so we're at the critical stage now where it has to be washed this afternoon or this evening at some point. So I've put it in this very kind of Lara Croft-esque plait, which um, I actually quite like. I think it's kind of flattering for my face and shape, I know that's a weird thing to notice, um, and it's just an easy hairstyle that I can just quickly do and I feel like my hair still looks interesting and I don't really have to worry about the state of it or having to excessively dry shampoo it. And then my earrings, I'm going to show my earrings just because I've changed them and I do often get questions about my hoops, so these ones in particular, hopefully you can see, are from Majuri. They are really similar to the um, Maria black ones that I usually wear but they're slightly finer and I think the hoop size is a little bit smaller. I will try and find the exact link to these. I know there's a lot of hoops on Majuri's website so it's often hard to kind of differentiate which hoops are which. Um, jumper is from Shana Moat. It is this beautiful kind of grey oat toned um, textured knit. Beautiful texture, the right amount of oversized without completely drowning me, really nice sort of cocooned sleeves. I just wish the neck was ever so slightly tighter, just a wee bit. And then on my legs, oh my legs, I've got my acne trousers, these are just a really simple single pleat black trouser um, that I've had maybe coming up to four years now. They are a style that acne do tend to reissue every season and I think I spotted them in the sale a couple of weeks ago. So I will uh, link them if they are still available. If you are a similar height to me or a similar frame and you're looking for kind of just a good quality pair of black trousers and you're kind of looking more at luxury brands, I cannot recommend Acne enough. The quality is always incredible. The fit is often, well, always, in my experience, has always been spot on and I've never had to take them to the tailor. They fit me perfectly straight off the hanger. Um, and yeah, four years later, they're still my favourite and just the best pair of black trousers I have. Um, and then on my feet, Adidas black sambas with the brown sole. I'm going to head to the studio shortly so I can start putting this vlog together and have it all ready for Sunday morning. Um, but before I do that, I basically wanted to sit down and say thank you, especially before we get stuck into 2022. I wanted to say thank you for all of you that have been here throughout 2021. Um, I know my content isn't exactly groundbreaking. I'm not challenging the status quo. I'm not changing the world with what I'm doing. Um, however, I do feel like what I have put out there, uh, based on the feedback that I have received from many, many people, has actually been really, really helpful to many of you, especially through some really dark times over the past couple of years. And that that connection that I've made with a lot of people has has been quite groundbreaking for me. Um, and what I mean by that is, is that it has kind of, I guess in a way, helped me validate who I am. Um, and it has given me a massive, massive amount of confidence to embrace who I am. So I've watched YouTube for years, years and years and years. I started watching it way back, you know, like when people like Tanya Burr were still sitting in their bedroom doing makeup tutorials. And I've watched that whole kind of, that whole era of YouTube and I, and I loved it. I was like, these people are amazing. They're so interesting. They've got such fun lives. They've got these incredible personalities. They're so outgoing and confident and bubbly. Um, and I always thought there was no room for someone like me within this space. I just thought, God, you've got to be so like out there to be on YouTube. You can't be like shy or quiet or anything like that. Um, so it was never anything I pursued because I was like, there's no way I could do something like that. Why would anyone want to watch someone like me? Like they, they won't. And then I think when we went into the first lockdown and there was lots of talk about sort of like just appreciating me every day, I was like, oh, I'm going to try YouTube because, you know, I see the world through this lens of kind of like being slow and quite quiet and appreciating small things. Um, so I was like, I'm going to document that. And at first it was, it was great. You know, people were really, really positive about it. However, as my um, audience grew, obviously people who 
didn't really know much about me or hadn't followed me for a while kind of came to my channel and with that brought a lot of I guess uh, non-constructive comments um, I started I think it was like especially sort of during the end of 2020 I started receiving lots of comments from people just being like oh you're so boring like you're so like you have no personality you're like so quiet all you do is ramble like do you even do anything interesting um and I found that really difficult like people were saying things like oh like you don't stand for anything like you don't have any interests like do you not even have like something that you stand for and it was like it, it really I, I took it really to heart I really struggled with that because it was like all of a sudden all of my my biggest insecurities were being just like shoved in my face again I was it was like all of the things I had worried about when doing YouTube were being like were being confirmed I was like oh my god why am I doing this like I shouldn't really be doing this these people are right like I need to just either be more interesting or I need to just get off here um and I struggled with that for a long long time um every time I posted to YouTube I felt sick because I I was like I can't check the comments because there's going to be someone on there telling me that I don't know my voice is annoying or the way I talk is annoying or I'm talking too much or I'm rambling too much or I need to talk quicker or like just all those kinds of things were just racing through my head every time I posted a YouTube video um but also as my audience grew what I noticed is is that I was giving lots of people a lot of solace you know I was getting comments from people saying oh putting on one of your YouTube videos helps me calm down um, or I've had a really bad week and this is just what I needed um, suffering with really bad anxiety and depression at the moment and watching your videos is really helping me get through the day and I really started to kind of see this this shift and like every time someone left a comment like that I was like oh th this this is this is it this is this is I like it's okay for me to be the way I am and through comments like that what I think a lot of you won't realize is what you've done is you've really given me the confidence to like embrace my quietness embrace my introvertness that word um embrace my my slow nature embrace my rambling nature um all these things I was so insecure about you have helped me actually be really comfortable with and I feel really at peace with knowing that not every single person is going to like me that that would be completely bizarre to even expect that everyone would like you but also knowing that I'm not for everyone that my pace is not for everyone um and I am really comfortable with the pace that I live my life at and the pace that I I, I function at basically you know I I love being slow. I love. I genuinely love just like observing the everyday and just appreciating that so so much. And I think by giving the gift of that to other people, which I feel like is what I've managed to do, I think is pretty special. Um, you know, for someone to have like a really horrible day, you know, like a really hectic day, and to be able to just give the gift of like slowing down and feeling calm, I think that is really quite valuable and precious because like I've been there before where like I, I'd say like three four years ago I, I used to try and live proper like fast paced trying to keep up with lots of other people around me like constantly just like trying to go to all these events trying to always be social trying to always post on Instagram just trying to always be on and I I knew it wasn't me but I felt like it was the only way I could be seen and I felt like it was the only way people would want to like hang around with me or be in my my company um and what I realized actually is that I just hadn't found the right people that enjoyed my pace um and this YouTube community has kind of helped me find that and actually realized you know what there are people out there that do just like to be quite chill and calm and slow and that's okay um I've spoken for seven minutes oh my gosh so that was a really long-winded thank you just because you have no idea how how just 
how much confidence you've given me to be me, basically. You have really helped me embrace who I am in all my slowness, all my rambling natures, all of my just, you know, just like the, the pointless shots that I put in vlogs that I think are so lovely. And someone's probably like, why has she done that? There are people out there that totally love it. And I am just like, yes, I'm so glad to have been connected with the, the people that are kind of in tune with that. And also I think there's, there's probably like a bunch of you watching who are like super fast paced people and, and you enjoy that. And you come here because you just want like half an hour of just like chilling out. And that's awesome as well. Um, so yes, who knows what 2022 will bring. Um, however, next week, I'm going to trial a new video idea. I've got a series idea that I want to trial. Um, so I'm going to do that next week. And I do want to kind of resurrect the wardrobe wardrobe review series, but it's really difficult with um, clothes. I feel like I've done my shoes, I've done my accessories, I've done coats, and I feel like with general clothes, it's quite difficult because a lot of things won't be in stock. Like lots of people keep asking for a trousers one, and I want to do a trousers one, but I'm like, oh... It's going to be a bit difficult because I'm showing you things that I've had for years that aren't really shoppable. But maybe it would just be a good tool for like just brand quality and that kind of thing. Anyway, um, we can discuss all this next week if you decide to tune in. Um, the camera's flashing at me telling me I've got no space on the memory card. So thank you all so much for watching this week and I shall see you all next week.